I'm 157 centimeters. Can I join Emirates? Oh, I'm so short, but I want to join Emirates. What do I do? What do I do? How many times have I heard this? So many times. Don't worry, I have a trick for you. Just stay tuned. Hi, that's Orlando from Wishcasting with my dog from Wishcasting again. Is the height a problem for Emirates Cabin Crew? Yes, indeed it is. You need to be tall, not for the fact that you have to put suitcases up because Emirates has this policy where they don't cover any injury given by uh, lifting suitcases. You, what you're supposed to do is help. But the reason why you have to be a certain height is because you have to have access to some emergency equipment which is in the hatch rack. Everybody thinks it's for suitcases, but no, it's not for the suitcases, it's for grabbing the emergency kits. So in the last hat track to the very right hand side, so it's like R5 in uh, aircraft terminology, you will have several emergency kits, first aid kits, you'll have oxygen bottles on the other side. Whenever there's a problem on board and you need to administer something from these kits, you have to access the kit. And if you're not tall enough, it's a problem. Okay, so now I've given you an introduction to why you have to be tall enough. And now I'll give you a trick on how to make yourself taller. It is true that you have to remove your shoes when you do the reach test. The reach test is you have a line. Usually the line is stuck on the wall. You have to reach the line and touch it. If you can touch it, you're good to go. You can continue in the Emirates interview. Sometimes they have different types of methods. It depends on the place where the open day is being held. Sometimes they have like a string that you have to reach and you have to grab, but that's kind of hard to reach. And sometimes there's something that moves and it's really hard to reach as well. So keep that at mind. Maybe you don't have this information. It's a good thing I told you. This link in the upper right corner is our masterclass series on joining Emirates. Follow it from the beginning to the very end. Now, in order for you to make yourself taller, there's one simple trick. And before I give you the trick, I want to give you a little bit of a background. When you wake up and when you go to bed, there's a difference in height because throughout the day, the weight of your body crushes, it kind of presses your vertebras one against each other and in between the vertebras, vertebras are made of made out of bone matter, but in between the vertebras there's sort of a disc and these discs are made out of cartilagen. So these discs act, act as a buffer, they impede one vertebra hitting the other vertebra. So they avoid, for example, inflammation or, or formation of fluids and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to get too technical. But uh, throughout the day, these discs get compressed because, as I said, they work as shock absorbers. And when you sleep, these shock absorbers rebuild up and they return to their normal shape. So when you wake up in the morning, because they're all extended at their maximum length, you're taller. And when you go to bed, they're shorter because the whole day you were either sitting on a computer or standing. Now, the best trick I can give you when you go for your open day is to not stand. Don't stand. Try not to stand as much as you can. Whenever you have a chance, try to sit. And if you can sit and it's mushy behind, like the support, the back support is kind of mushy, relax it. Put it on top of the back support and let the vertebras relax. If that happens, you allow those, those cushions, those cartilagen cushions to re-expand. And when you go for your reach test, you're going to be one, two, I don't know, maybe three centimeters taller. It all depends on the physiognomy of your body. Now, that's a really cool trick, don't you think? And it's true. It's, it's guaranteed to work. It's true. Now, I don't know how many centimeters you can make extra on top of that, but maybe it works for you. Maybe it's a great thing. Another thing is for you to do some exercises. Uh, now, I'm going to show you. I'll go down to the computer. I'm going to pop up some uh, videos and I'm going to show you some exercises. I'm a total ignorant. I have no idea of the names of these poses. But if you copy these poses, I can assure you that your back will be straightened out. You won't feel pain and you'll elongate it, gathering those extra centimeters that you're looking for. If you're having a really hard time passing the Emirates interview, then join our new student experience to get in touch with us on a personal level with live video calls and phone calls. Including all this, you get customizable CV templates, CV icon packs, and the latest news in the Emirates airline. We get the most exclusive news in Emirates before it even hits any social media or news outlet. Join us. Link in the description. In conjunction to this, I'd like to talk about the BMI. The BMI is sort of like a calculation. I've done a video about it. You can check it up right here. It's practically where you put into the equation your height and your weight, and it gives you a factor. It gives you sort of a number. And if that number is within a green zone, so you have like charts, if you're within the green zone and you're not in the yellow or red zone before or after, you're good to go. Go on Google, write down BMI calculator. You go and search it. 
click the very first result, put your height, put your weight, calculate, and it'll give you your BMI. Now, a lot of people lie about their uh, BMI because they're not weighed when they go for their open day. Uh, but then they can potentially get into trouble when they fly to Dubai because they will be weighed again and they'll be measured. Their height will be measured again. So you can't really lie much about it. If you want to lie about it, you better get it fixed by the time you go to Dubai. If you can't manage, then it could be a problem. You could be sent back home. If you're extremely underweight or if you're very overweight, a little bit is fine because anybody can get overweight or underweight by one kg within the month that they accept you and you fly to Dubai. But being really underweight and really overweight can be a massive problem and you'll, you might get discontinued. So you'll have to bear the costs of you traveling back home. And that's something that you really don't want because Emirates is expensive. So we spoke about tricks on making you taller and we spoke about BMI and the consequences that happen in Dubai if you falsely declare some information. So I hope that helped you out. It cleared out some confusion and the shorter ones of you manage getting the job. And if you do, let us know in the comments below. We'd be really curious and happy to see who you are and uh, to root for you. And when you come to Prague on your layover, I'd be really happy to see you. Now that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you on our next video. Bye.